Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are working on some more AP Physics 1 Dynamics questions, okay? As a recap, these questions are about uh, setting up free, uh, free body diagrams, doing net force equations, setting equal to MA, and solving the problem, okay? But I do find like this is an area that's like critical to learn uh, early on in AP Physics to, you know, it'll just help you understand all the problems and how to solve lots of problems in the future. A block of mass M acted on by force of magnitude F directed horizontally to the right as shown above slides up an inclined plane that makes an angle theta with the horizontal. The coefficient of sliding friction between the block and the plane is mu. On the diagram below, draw and label all forces at the block as it slides up the plane. Okay, so I do have this force F I have gravity, mg. Um, because it's sliding up, I'm going to have friction fight me. So I have force of friction. I also have the normal force from the ground and for, yeah, from the ramp. And that should be it. That's all the forces. Develop an expression in terms of theta, m, mass, theta, f, mu, and g for the block's acceleration up the plane. OK, so let's set up directions. We always want to set up a two perpendicular directions, an x direction and a y direction. This is important. OK, x direction is typically in the direction of the motion or the plane. And then uh, y direction is typically perpendicular when you're doing these kinds of problems. It doesn't You don't have to do it that way. It's just it's more convenient this way. OK, so let's take a look. We have the normal look like in the x direction. We know we're accelerating up the plane, right? So I'm going to say positives up the ramp. So let's see what forces I have in the x direction. Well, the thing is, is um, for F, I'm going to change colors to do the component forces. I have to think about F has components in the x and the y direction, right? This is theta. And the uh, mg has also components in the x and y direction. This is also theta. And that is how I split up the forces. So in the x direction, I have a component of F in the x direction. It would be, and it's in the positive x direction, it would be F uh, cosine theta. And I have a force of friction fighting me, minus force of friction, minus, uh, I have a x direction component of gravity also fighting me. And that, has this this is the net force in the x direction it has to equal mass times acceleration okay now the force of friction is given by mu times the normal force so this is really f cosine theta minus mu normal force minus mg equals ma okay now I don't know I can't put my answer in terms of normal force right I can put my answer in terms of everything else when I solve for acceleration I can divide by m but uh, I need to find this normal force and that's why I need the y direction separately here now in the y direction I have normal force uh, in the vertical direction f has a, a vertical component see this it has minus f sine theta um, friction is in the horizontal x direction, and then gravity has a component in the negative y direction, mg sine theta. Now this e also equals ma, but because it's not accelerating in the y direction, this is really zero, because a is zero in the y direction. So the normal force is equal to f sine theta, rearranging, plus mg. Well, is there both sine theta? This is sine, and this is sine. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's sine theta. Oh, this one was supposed to be mg. Nope, no, 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 no. I'm, mix I'm mixing up the signs here. I, I'm. Okay, let's do it. The mg um, cosine theta is in the y direction. Cos theta. And this is sine theta. because the sine theta of this one is in the x direction, right? Okay, 
So now I have the normal force, I can plug it into here. I get F cosine theta minus mu times the normal force, which is this, F sine theta plus mg cosine theta minus mg sine theta equals ma. Now the acceleration, I can just divide everything by m, and that would be my answer. So a equals, let us uh, group some terms together. I have f over m cosine theta minus mu sine theta. Then I have mu g cosine theta and then g, so minus g, the m's cancel there. I have sine theta plus mu cosine theta equals a. Oops, I already said equals a. So this would be my answer for this one. There's a few things I wanted to point out that is unusual problem like this. Note that the normal force is not simply equal to mg cosine theta. This is a very common mistake to say it's equal to mg cosine theta. It normal force always has to balance all the other y direction forces and because f has a component in the y direction, the ramp has to push back more against him. Okay? And so that's why the normal force. So you can't just assume the normal force is always equal to mg cosine theta. Um, so that was B. So now let's see. Develop expression for the magnitude of the force F that will allow the block to slide up the plane with constant velocity. What relation must theta and mu satisfy in order for this solution to be physically meaningful? So for acceleration to be, so for the, the constant velocity means A has to be zero. So I need this equal to zero. So I need F over M cosine theta plus mu sine theta or minus mu sine theta. Excuse me. Minus g sine theta plus mu cosine theta has to equal zero. Uh, f expression for f. So I want to solve for f. So I'm going to add this, multiply by m. So f is equal to this mg because I'm going to multiply by m, sine theta plus mu cosine theta all over cosine theta minus mu sine theta. Is that right? I just want to make sure I have everything right. Okay, that looks right. So this is my expression for f. Now, for this to be meaning, physically meaningful, I need this to not be zero, right? Because I can't have my force infinite. So that's probably what they're saying. They want cosine theta cannot equal mu sine theta. Or another way to do it is to rearrange it. I could say uh, cotangent of theta, because if I divide by sine theta, is not equal to mu. This is the criteria that we would have to meet because I divide both sides of the equation by sine theta. This is what I want. Okay. All right, so hopefully you found that helpful. Um, this is all analytical, no numbers, just sort of doing it symbolically and setting up the free body diagrams. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next dynamics video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.